What's up guys and wow, I just cannot believe this is it. This is our first look to the Android 10 that is Android Q. And here's the backstory, XG developers got the early system image of Android Q for the Pixel 3 XL and there are tons of new features, enhancement and design changes. So grab your seat, like this video, subscribe my channel if you already haven't and let's start cause this is going to be a huge one. So first off I will start with the home screen itself, nothing new here. We have same icons, however in the notification panel and quick setting tiles there are some changes. We have new options, first one is the sensor, you can enable and disable all the sensors from your smartphone. Along with that it is also going to disable all the radios and turn on the aeroplane mode. So that's an advanced feature. Next up there is another option in the recents app information to get free form settings it can be used in desktop mode only yes you have option for that also however in this build the desktop mode is not working so you need to wait a little for the next build so this is about the basic home screen and recents next we have full a dark theme support yes guys it's finally here this mode turns your smartphone to full dark gray and it is for every system applications including settings phone dialer messenger any others also but that's something really impressive i was really waiting for this feature and the exciting part is it runs on the latest feb 2019 security patch which is not available for any smartphone right now so maybe google may release the android q first beta in the feb 2019 let's see okay so it's time for the interesting new features first off you are getting an inbuilt screen recorder and this is what most of you guys were waiting for and I can only hope that this thing also records the inbuilt audio that's going to be an amazing move by Google. Next up there's an advanced option for permissions for all the applications and it is going to show you everything you need. This is full dashboard only for permission. You can manage, enable, disable and even check how many times that application has used your permission to access your system application. So that's nice. Next there you have the gaming update package preference. And that you can use to switch between graphic drivers it is not working right now according to xga so a specific graphic driver for gaming and a specific one for the normal usage now the file manager also shows all the recent documents and files you stored on your smartphone and there's also an filter option for images videos and files that's nice Next up you have new pages in settings for time to take action and time to read. That's an advanced setting. I will get deep into it whenever I will use that feature. And here you go. This is the Android Q you all were waiting for. Right now we don't know about the speed improvement. We don't know about the animations and RAM management. But still Google has done a great job in implementing most of the amazing features. And in future they are definitely going to make it perfect operating system. There is definitely no major design changes as you guys were expecting but dark mode is something really impressive. It is going to save your battery, going to save your eyes and also give you the dark theme support that most of you guys were waiting for. So this is all guys let me know what features you like in the Android Q. The official beta will start from March 2019 or maybe Feb 2019. Don't forget to like subscribe and peace out.